What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here with some rewriting of algebraic expressions in standard form and classifying them by degree and number of terms. So first example here, I've got 8x to the fourth plus 3x minus 2 all times the x squared minus 6x plus 5. So what's our first step here? Well, I need to distribute this negative 2 here, okay? So just the negative 2. Right, even if this was a like term with that guy, we can't subtract them because it's multiplication right there, and multiplication comes first. So this is going to multiply to all three terms right there, leaving me with, let's see here, 8x to the fourth plus 3x, and then it's minus 2x squared, and then it's negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12x, and then minus 10. Okay. Now we can combine some like terms, and it can help to uh, put a little underline under your uh, your like terms here. And I only see actually two like terms on this one, which would be the 3x and the 12x, all right? So nothing else is a like term, because there's no other x to the fourths, there's no other x squareds, and there's no constants like that 10, okay? So we'll start with our highest degree here, that's how we write it in standard form, aka descending order. And I'm gonna have, let's see, 8x to the fourth, and then we have the quadratic, right? Because there's no cubic term. So we'll go right to the quadratic. Negative 2x squared. And then I have 3x and 12x. So I'm going to add my coefficients. 3 plus 12 is 15. And the x stays as x. It doesn't become x squared when you're adding. You're just adding the coefficients. So we're going to have 15x and then the minus 10. If it also helps, some people like to cross these things off as they combine them. I'm not doing that because then it ruins my marker, but you can, on your paper and pencil, cross off as you write them down so you don't write something down twice and you also don't forget something, right? So that's a good strategy. So here we go, we are in standard form, so that's perfect. And now I just need to get to um, classify by degree and number of terms. So what's my degree here? My highest degree is four. They may also ask for the lead coefficient, that's eight, okay? It's the number in front, the coefficient of the highest degree term. So degree is going to be 4. So that is a quartic. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four terms. So terms, that's 4. This will just be considered a polynomial. Polynomial. All right. So quartic polynomial is the name. Quartic polynomial. Again, beyond, uh, beyond three terms, right? So it's monomial, binomial, trinomial. After that, we just generically polynomial, okay? And the same goes with the, uh, with the, with the degrees, right? So it's a degree of, of zero, which would be a constant. Degree of one would be linear. Degree of two is quadratic. Three is cubic. Four is quartic. Five is quintic. And then six and beyond, we usually just say six degree, seven degree. At least that's what I've always done, okay? Well, there we go, guys. That's wonderful. And again, our lead coefficient is 8 for that one. It's the highest degree terms coefficient. Okay. Next one. That's a lot. There's a lot going on in this one. I got to distribute twice, right? I got to distribute this 5 to all 3 and the negative 3x to all 3 terms. Woo. Hopefully I have enough room. Okay. So 5 times 3 is going to give me 15 x to the fifth then five times two is ten x five times one is five then we have negative three x times x to the fourth now since we have multiplication x times x to the fourth or x to the first times x to the fourth is x to the fifth so we're gonna have minus three x to the fifth and then we have minus let's see here negative three times six is negative 18 x and then we have negative six x squared again x times x, x to the first, x to the first, becomes x to the, oh, 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 wait, no, no, like this, x to the first, x to the first, boom, x to the second, it's, it's an old trick from my dad, okay, that's what we used to do, adding numbers, anyways, all right, magic, uh, let's see here, like terms, we've got x to the fifth and x to the fifth, uh, we got a couple of linear ones here, nothing goes with my constant, nothing goes with my quadratic, okay, so let's put these bad boys together. 15x to the fifth, negative 3x to the fifth, 15, negative 3, 15 minus 3 is 12x to the fifth. And then our next highest term is the quadratic in this case. So minus 6x squared. Then I have um, 
the linear terms, 10x, negative 18x, 10 minus 18 is negative 8x, and then the plus 5. Boom, there we go. Took care of all of them. So we once again have a, uh, well, four terms, so polynomial, but our degree is 5, so degree 5, which is quintic, as I was stating earlier. It's a fun name, quintic. Yes, you do need to remember all these. Um, at least I know in our courses, we usually will ask the names, right? Maybe not everybody, but we do have those few names for the first five degrees. And then terms, we have one, two, three, four. So again, it's just a polynomial, generic. Polynomial. So quintic. Woo. It's a tall N there. Quintic polynomial is its full name, right? Birth name. So, <laughs> quintic polynomial, done. Uh, what's our lead coefficient for this one? It is 12, because that's the coefficient in front of the highest degree term. So once it's written in standard form, that's where it's easy to see your lead coefficient. Do you have to write it in standard form to get your lead coefficient? No, you do need to combine all your terms, um, but then you have to look for the highest degree. So we usually just go highest degree to lowest degree, stay organized, right? It's easier to see things, know a little bit more information about that particular, uh, you know, algebraic expression or polynomial, you know, equation if it's a function or something like that, right? So there we go, guys. That's about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, keep on watching these bad boys and uh, liking, subscribing, spreading the good word. All right, peace out. See you later.